I think with the first song on the record, I, s- I just set off like Star Treatment. It's called the first record. Did you feel like it was the first tune on the record when you made it? No, I thought it was the. I thought it was the thing I was going to write in order to like get to the place Got I it. needed to be, and and it was. And it, that's. I think you can hear that in like the the words in the first verse. It's kind of about. Yeah. You know, I think I was watching a lot of films about filmmaking at that time and the idea of like a song about songwriting seemed interesting and I was sort of... Well, it also starts with the lyric, which people are already talking about, which is... Okay, let's talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, what was it like? I only wanted to be in the strokes or something. I'll be a stroke or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, Now, Now, that's the kind of thing that most people write as a starting point to something and then kind of go, that made me laugh. Now, maybe I should change it. But you said it and now everyone's like going, oh, and I just think it's a great way to start the record because it just hooks you in well I think that's precisely what it was it's like uh, you know it's what's it's a, it's a scrambled eggs isn't it yeah when I looped back around to to move it to something else I just couldn't resist like how blunt it was really. totally what's important to me about it as well is the music that it sits on top of like I think make it permissible and I think that's also why it got written as well was because of it starts and there's this jazzy turnaround that happens. There's one of those words that, you know, then sort of makes something like that. I don't know, it just gives that like a place. I wonder how much of the words that you put on this record were overheard or, vica- yeah, yeah, yeah. or vicarious. Mm-hmm. Is that where 4 out of 5 came from? Is that the whole, like, oh, you got a favorable yeah. review, 4 out of 5, and that's unheard of? To me, it's just the kind the, of thing you right, hear yeah, that is in the a kind bar of thing somewhere and you just yeah, think, yeah. I'm just going to, I've got to work that in somehow. There's a bittersweetness. There's a melancholy to getting four out of five, but championing that like it's never been because done before. The, because the people that are in charge of like giving the scores are like, oh, well, they oh, never give a perfect hundred. Oh, never. I mean, it's, it's impossible. Nothing. Yeah, it's nothing no, as close to perfection. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well done. But for like the world's first <laughs> ever monster truck front flip. Stop. Can we talk about that title for a hot second? Who came up was, with that? Well, the guy who flipped the fucking truck forward. <laughs> to, like, but I'm just, I suppose the thing I'm saying is we're like living in a world where we're. Flipping monster trucks forwards now. I think we also like this this idea of um, everyone playing in a room together, like on pet sounds. Like wanted to do that for a long time, but this is not really the time or the place to do it. I, yeah. Like really, and because we've got all these recordings and these sounds that we like going into it, so yeah. it's not like we're gonna get in a room and do a live take or something, and it's gonna that's what it's gonna be. Except with like the last track on there, like Ultra Cheese was yeah. kind of done like that. 